guys, welcome back. Today we're going to start off with a little fluid acrylic pour I did on the 4x4 canvas. I'm going to clean with 91% alcohol. I like to use clear or transparent items to mark out my planets. And uh, I'd like to go through and find what sizes I need and then use a black Sharpie and draw around the planets. I like to use a Sharpie because you can paint right up to the black mark and it gives you a nice clean circle. You can draw any size circle you want or however many circles you want. I like to put some of my planets off to the side and since this was such a tiny canvas I really wanted to achieve a little bit of depth uh, in the sources or in the comp composition. I wanted to get that feeling of space with the depth and so I thought if we start with a large and then go with a medium and then the little sun will be like the third thing so it's good to do trios and keeping them the number small because it's so tiny i like to use a flat brush to you get the black in the planets so you can get right up next to that sharpie mark and paint away from it and just get right up in there right on the line and then paint away and get you a nice smooth round planet I'm starting with a Windsor & Newton Primary Magenta and I'm using a very small round coarse bristled brush and it's a dry tech dry brushing technique where you just kind of put some paint on there and tap it out moving the paint around as you tap Here I'm doing the same thing with an ultramarine from Windsor & Newton. Oh. 
adding a little white, we just get a little bit lighter than we were before. When I go over the lines, I like to take uh, alcohol and a Q-tip or water and a Q-tip and clean up my mess as I go. I don't want it to get hard on there and dry on me. I just want to get the nebula and atmosphere around the planets up to the line so that it doesn't look like, you know, it's, I don't know. It's just easier to take it off and go all the way up to it than it is to try to get right up to the line when you're doing the nebula. take a little bit of black and go back over it and give in some negative space here I guess I'm just lightening up that center part a little bit where the light from the Sun's gonna bounce off the two planets and uh, make a little bit of a lighter section Here's where I'm going back in with the black. Here I'm adding the sun in this system. I just want to kind of dot where I want it so that I know um, the perspective of light onto the planet. When I was editing this video, I realized that I turned the camera off when I thought it was on and turned it on when I thought it was off and it wasn't very good getting it into the shot and I don't know what I was thinking. But I'm very sorry about that. I'm just adding white, adding the light highlights to the planets where the sun would shine on the top. Also incorporating some clouds. And then I'll put in some shadowing here and I'm off camera again. I'm still really bad with camera and the editing it's been a couple years I hope they're getting better but <laughs> it's times like these when I think nope I need to take a class there's no classes it's COVID so I should YouTube it Now I'm adding a cadmium yellow medium hue from Basics, Liquitex Basics, and it's a transparent color, so you don't really need that much. I'm making the sun bigger because it's the closest star in the system, and so I'm just going to put it a little bit larger than the rest, and I like to start with the white. 
make tiny little star points, the four points, with my white and a white dot in the middle. And then I add some closer stars that are bigger, just randomly. We'll put some stars on with a paintbrush after it's all done. But these bigger stars, I like to add this yellow over because the depth and vastness of space you can achieve by dotting some of your stars yellow and leaving some white is a trick I learned last year and it works great. I'm mixing my star water now. I'm going to use white paint and mix it with water. I want to make sure that it still coats uh, and it doesn't run, but you want it to just be a little bit creamier than the water. And the smaller the brush you use, the smaller your stars will be. And the larger you brush you use, the larger your stars will be. And so since this is such a tiny painting, I'm using one of my tiniest detail brushes so that I only fling the tiniest of little stars. It takes more effort and it takes a long time, but you get these super tiny stars that give you that deep look to space. got a little bit of the star on my sun and so I gotta take some black and just fix that anyways thanks for watching guys here's what we're left with I really enjoyed it super cute I thought to make several more but I'm a space nerd so I could paint space paintings probably every day <laughs> Anyways, don't mind the nasty studio. It's a mess. But thanks for watching, guys, and y'all have a great day.